Rudolph the reindeer needs urgent medical attention. Okay, okay, oh, it's me, it's me, okay. Oh, oof, are you okay? Yeah. But the young calf is fighting back like a bucking bull. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Okay. Heads up. Wild reindeer. It's okay. Oh, goodness. Finally, Rudolph tires out and Michelle can inspect his infected eye. Oh, my goodness, with the blue eye. Sometimes when they get a lot of, you know, ice and wind, they'll, they will end up with, like, a lot of trauma to the eye. And then they'll get a bluish hue to the surface of the cornea. He's got a little David Bowie going on. I mean, he's got this one blue eye and this other brown one. The surface of the cornea, which should be totally clear and smooth, has some inflammation or infection going on. And then those cells reflect the light, and it all looks blue. Right now, I'm trying to look to see if there's anything, like, in the chamber of the eye. We want to make sure that there's nothing stuck in there or it's not ulcerating. It doesn't look like there's much in there. I'm having a hard time seeing what's going on. So what I need to do is actually put some stain in there and see if there's been some injury to the surface of the eye. Ooh, creepy eye. I just put some fluorescein stain in there. And so that will stick to any kind of um, defect in the surface of the cornea, like if there's an ulcer or something like that. Let's flush all that away. Uh-oh, guess what? I see stain stuck where it shouldn't be. Oh, dear. Oh, baby. Darn it. Unfortunately, a bunch of the stain won't flush away, and it's stuck right in the middle of his cornea. So that tells me that there's actually a bit of an ulcer starting. A corneal ulcer is a sore usually caused by dryness, infection, or trauma. So as you can see, the stain rinsed away from everywhere except for that one big honking yeah. spot. Left untreated, it could continue to grow that can perforate into the eyeball and, and start a major infection. He can actually lose his eye. It's at least into the first couple layers. To stop the ulcer from spreading further, Michelle will inject antibiotics straight into his eyelid. All right. So I'm injecting penicillin actually into the tissues under his okay. eye. And so you can see that's a bubble of penicillin, and that's going to leak out over the next two or three days. <laughs> and OK, OK, we can let him up, actually. And that seems to work wonders. It may take up to two weeks for Rudolph's eye to heal completely. In the meantime, to defend himself in the pen, his antlers need attention. The other issue is this antler. Yeah, he kept getting stuck in the fence. Oh, so that's why we cut okay. the antlers, because mm -hmm. he would reach through and then couldn't get back out. <laughs> oh, OK. When he was stuck, he may have damaged the base of his antler. And when you get a crack in an antler that's growing, bacteria can get in there, and then it gets an infection. Other oh, reindeer owners have found when yeah. there's pus leaking really at the, the base, really below the base, mm -hmm. it has gone to the brain. Right. That's certainly a concern. If they do have an infection in the antler, even if it starts here, it can track down. That infection can actually travel down the pedicle and get, you know, in the skull, get actually right into the brain. Infection in the brain would likely spell death for the yelling reindeer. One by one, we're getting you fixed right up. Look at you, sad baby. Michelle flushes the area and injects powerful antibiotics into his wound. This is like pus that's matted around here, and so just trying to get it all out of the way to make sure there's no, like, crack down low or anything like mm. that. Sorry, love. Push that a bit. OK, 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 hey, 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 are you OK? Nope. Me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so Rudolph um, gets kicked on, but he is pretty strong. <laughs> he is way stronger than he seems, you know? know? Now that Rudolph's eye and antler have been treated, Michelle has one more problem to tackle, those bow legs. So, first thing I'm going to do is just feel his legs, making sure that it moves normally, that it can bend normally, and sometimes even lower in the joint is contracted. It'll cause the knees to bow out. So no nope. swelling in the joint at all. Really? Nothing obvious that I can feel, you know what I mean? There are no clear explanations for Rudolph's deformity, so Michelle turns to a trusted diagnostic tool. Why don't we go ahead and get the x-rays done? OK. You were so good. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Bent. You can even see the bow yeah. in the radius and the ulna there that are kind of like, whoosh, you know, like out of the side. And they would the normally side. be straight, right? Yeah, so they would normally be straight. So it's actually the bone that's bent. I can see there's a deformity in the bone. It's basically a curved shape, and that's what's causing his whole legs to, to bow out. We'll never know what caused it. 
It could have been something that happened during gestation. It could have been something that happened soon after when he was trying to walk. Uh, in any case, there's not a whole lot we can do for it at this point. That looks funny right there. Mm -hmm. That looks like almost like a little chip or something. Oh. A closer look reveals more bad news. You can see how things are just not lined up properly. Yeah. So unfortunately, it does look like he's getting bits of yucky bone or cartilage that are jumping out. We're starting to see some pretty significant arthritis. He's got some defects in his cartilage, and he's a young animal, so he can't be with this group of youngsters that want to fight and knock him around that he's trying to run from. Kind of less movement would be, would be better for him right now, but how long can you do that? I think we're going to try to move him and his mom in with the grandmas. You know, he won't have to walk as far for food. Oh, they also yeah. have arthritis. <laughs> right. Aww. OK, that sounds like a great plan. The old granny reindeer also have arthritis. And, you know, he just wants to be with other reindeer. It'll be nice to put them in a group in the old granny pen, and they can all kind of hang out together.